like to invite Gauri and Shahrukh to come up on stage and unveil the book. Congratulations again, Gauri. I will now request Shah Rukh to come up and say a few words. First of all, thank you very much, Taj, for hosting us. Thank you, Penguin, and the team at Penguin for doing this for Gauri and all of us. And uh, thank you very much, HSBC, for being part of this uh, evening. And thank you, everyone here, for waiting and. Uh, uh, by normal standards, I should have no choice not to come here. Uh, my wife is launching a book, I have to be here. But there are reasons which are a little more pertinent than just the book and uh, uh, just a launch of the fact that she's designing houses and restaurants and hotels and except my rooms in my house, she's designing everything else around the world. But still, I'm a forgiving person, <laughs> magnanimous by heart. So I will take that. But uh, having said that, the book does contain a few things that I would like to mention, even though it may sound strange because she's my wife and we've been married to each other for over 30 years and it becomes the duty of a husband to talk like this, but only as an individual because me and Gauri have known each other. She was 14, I was 18. And we've known each other for years. And uh, sometimes when you know each other for very many years, a sense of appreciation for each other's work starts diminishing because you take it for granted. I've been doing what I do for a long time and uh, Gauri has played her part in the best way possible. We've raised three beautiful children. Um, you know, she's been a wife of a movie star who became extremely popular because of the grace of God and <laughs> people like Suhail. <coughs> but, but there was a passion she always had. Uh, you know, there was a sense of creativity. There's a little mediocre sense of creativity in a whole family, even the little 10-year-old. We do dabble with paints, we do think we can do a little bit of music, little, little. Uh, not outstanding. And Gauri was also uh, part of the journey, that she's always been a little creative about things, how she would do a, a space or do a little drawing or a painting. And uh, I think for about 25 years of a married life, or at least 23, 24 years of a married life. Uh, we were just so busy settling down in Mumbai and uh, you know this overwhelming response we got uh, from the profession that I am in, just to deal with it and lead a normal life, bring up children, that she never realized that there was an aspect of hers which needed to have some kind of life or some kind of, uh, uh, you know, give vent to it. This book, I think, stands for all that. It doesn't make a difference to all the youngsters, all the people who miss out on a dream of their life to be creative. You can start at any age. I think Gauri started mid-40s. Uh, 40, okay, only 40. <clears throat> She's 37 now. Enough. In our family, we age backwards. <laughs> So yes, at 40 she started doing this at a time when I even told her that, listen, should I be helpful? I have some friends, we can talk to them. And she said, no, she started a small 10 feet by 10, 20 feet shop somewhere down in Parel, Lower Parel. And she worked it all out on her own and continued doing what she does. And when I asked her now, years later, because she is genuinely the busiest person in the house now, uh, compared to me, my son, my daughter and the little one and my sister, and we're like, what are you doing the whole day and why do you keep doing so much work? And she says, because it satisfies me. And I think this book stands for that, that you follow your dreams, do what satisfies you. Uh, the material end of it all is not so important. Uh, we have dinners at home, which is 
we don't have any choice in that. We all have to have dinner together. And on those dinners, we discuss how was your day at work. And uh, at the end of the dinner, the discussion is it was a satisfying day because she believes a satisfying day is a happy day. And at whatever its stage, whatever age, you are trying to follow your dream, at the end of it all, it's very important to follow that, is what we've learned from Gauri. And I hope everyone who reads this book, of course, it's got lovely designs, it's got pictures of the family, it's got some stuff written in it, which I don't understand at all. But it can augur well for people who feel that the dreams have passed them by, and they can come back to it, and try it at any age without any formal education, which she could not get because she got married very early, but still make something come out of it which makes you satisfied. So thank you, Gauri, for giving us this mantra of success to the family. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Ashwarya, and thank you everyone at Penguin, and thank you for all of you to come here and uh, uh, be part of this. I'm extremely happy and I'm extremely satisfied that I'm here. Uh, when she's launching this book. Thank you very much. Well, we now uh, talk a little bit more uh, with Shahrukh and Gauri about the book. Uh, Gauri, you've been designing, you know, homes and spaces for some years now. What prompted you to write the book? Well, um, the book is more about design, as you know. Uh, Shahrukh has already told you. Uh, well, it charts out my um, journey as a designer. Um, anyone who's interested in design or um, they want tips on interior decorating their homes. Um, so I've just compiled everything together for uh, people to go through design and whoever is interested. Um, and you know, basically when, when I chose this profession, uh, designing homes, bringing them to life, was extremely um, satisfying, exciting, and uh, seeing a smile on the client's face was, it just gave me, gave me so much joy. Uh, that I enjoyed it so much. I said, I have to pen down all those thoughts and, um, you know, all the designs, all under one book, um, you know. So I decided to just have it all together in this book. So that, that was the reason to just have this book put together. Yeah, and looks gorgeous. You also mentioned in the book that uh, probably the first project that you worked on was to redesign your Delhi home. And you also designed... Mannath, where we currently live with Shah Rukh and the kids. So what, what are your favorite uh, spaces, uh, to, Shah Rukh? To, may I is it, is it okay if I talk in between or it's Yes, yes, no, it's a conversation, so no, please but if, if it's a show, I can just sit and look pretty. No, no, but I was going to ask you, this question was for you and both right. of you can chime in. Okay, I just, I just want to say that, you know, when we bought the house we live in now, it was way beyond our means and uh, being from Delhi, one was used to living in bungalows. One did not realize that Mumbai has a whole system where apartments are even more expensive and bigger, but we are not used to it. Not because I was very well off, it's just that everybody in Delhi seemed to have a bungalow. And we'd come from there and we used to live actually to the house next to Taj, right here, Billy, and uh, which was my director's house. He had lent it to us and said, you stay here as long as uh, you're making films. And we had not too much money. So whenever we, as soon as we uh, mustered up some money, we said, we'll go and buy this bungalow. And it was way beyond our means. Uh, but we managed to buy it, which was one thing. And then you had to rebuild it because it was uh, uh, quite dilapidated and uh, uh, kind of broken. Uh, <laughs> and then we didn't have money to furnish it. And of course, we called one designer. The lunch that he served us, telling us how he'll design this house, was way more than the salary I used to earn in a month. And we're like, this guy's gonna charge a lot. So how do we do this house now? We bought it, what do we do with this? And then the only person to turn was, I said, listen, Gauri, you have little artistic talent. Why don't you become the designer of the house? So actually, Mannat started like that. So whatever little monies we earned over years, we kept on buying small things. I remember we had gone down 
once even to South Africa, I think. And we had little money and we bought the leather for the sofa that we'll put on. And all those small, small things we used to buy with, you know, that time when you traveled abroad, I think you got 100 pounds or uh, some amount of money that you were allowed to carry from India. So it was taken only to buy a decoration piece. So it took us a while and I think that training ground is what actually made her start designing. You know, Bhagavanath is, <clears throat> if I may say, a little big. And then, you know, for her to start doing something at a, such a young age, not realizing without a designer, I think that kind of helped her also to learn. And, you know, then from one thing to the other, she kept on designing stuff. And for me, it's very nice that, uh, you know, I don't have to look for another designer. Uh, I can, I can uh, scream and shout at her. Oh, this is not nice. Did you change this and all, which I've never done. I'm just joking. I just wanted to say it here in public. And, uh, you know, it's just easier to discuss what we want uh, because I also have a thing that things should be clean and nice. So I think she started with that whole aspect and then, you know, she's gone on to design any and everything yeah. that we buy now. So, yeah. <laughs> so what is your favorite space in, in Manna then? You know, where you like to hang out? Or? Contrary to popular belief that I spend a lot of time in the bathroom. <laughs> I, <laughs> I do like my library the most. Uh, there's a section in the house which is kind of my office, which doesn't have any electronics. And yeah. it's a library which um, I just like sitting in. It's been long since I've read the books in it, but it just feels very intellectual and smart. A <laughs> lot of people get fooled when they walk in and they say, oh my God, you've read them all? And they, yeah, yeah, 70% <laughs> of them. Well, the book has actually, you know, um, a lot of different things like I was mentioning in my introduction as well, from technical aspects, you know, about textures, colors, lighting, to so many other things that you talk about in terms of your projects and people you've worked with along the way. So tell us a little bit about, you know, the contents of the book. The best part of the book, I would say, is the, the family pictures we've, we've done together. Um, to, get, to get all of them under one roof, um, the kids, and it was easier to get Aryan's, uh, Shah Rukh's date. Uh, we were just waiting for Aryan's date all the time, that when is he going to give me time, and when is Abram going to give me time to get this one picture together. So that's what I've really enjoyed apart from design. And I believe um, you did that twice, yes, right? Because there yes. was one photo shoot that we yes. did before the pandemic and then there was a little bit of gap because, you know, uh, there was the pandemic and Corey said, but he looks very different now. He's, he's grown up. Yes. So we